Hi right, folks, hope you're doing well. So, hmm. things have happened. The Civic is now gone. Yeah. Well, something beautiful actually. Um, I was getting really frustrated. And yeah, I was trying to do everything I could, even like put stuff like my old um, camera lenses and camera bag on eBay and Facebook Marketplace to sell to try and raise money and getting frustrated about that. I did a video about that the other day. Um, and it was only when I went to God and had a go at him, because I do. So I had a go at him about the fact that, well, come on, I spent all that money learning how to drive when I had a terrible instructor who just wanted to get money off me rather than actually teach me how to pass a test. So I wasted probably a thousand pounds more than what I should have had to on that. And then buying cars and then, yeah, because of the dogs and then getting used to driving and then getting used to going to better, better places with the dogs and better shops that are further away. And now I don't have a car to drive. It's, yeah, it's like going back. And so, yeah, I got to the point where I got frustrated enough to go to God and have a go at God about it. And then it's about a day later, or even the same day that night, as I was laying down to sleep it was, that what came into my head was, okay, cancel the ad. Cancel the adverts you've got at the moment for um, the car. And make a new advert, completely new. So the next day I did that. And then within probably a day, somebody commented on one of the adverts because the advert was on many different spaces on Facebook Marketplace because there's so many. Um, yeah. It was on Asbo Motors that I got the comment. And the person commented just saying that they think their friend might be interested. And this is their friend's name and phone number. And the person came over. I contacted the person, telling them about the car. Um, referred them to the advert on Facebook so they could learn what was wrong with the car. Um, told them it had to be towed away or transported away. It couldn't be driven. And he came over and basically straight away said, yeah, tell the other people that want it, it's my car now. I said, well, you haven't even discussed the price. And yeah, he didn't even tell me the price until right at the end. I said, you still haven't told me the price. He said, no, I'm gonna pay the price you're asking for. Because he's got a 2006 version and that car needs a lot of parts. So, God knew. I was getting frustrated. And by renewing the advert, or basically not renewing it, but making a new advert, put it onto all these different sites, someone would see it who knows this person who needed parts for his car, lots of parts for his car. And basically, if he had bought parts for his car, it would have cost him probably nearly the same amount of money as my car was up for. Yeah, I've been offered £100. I've been offered £200 to take the car away and scrap it. I'd actually reduce the price on Facebook um, to £200 when God told me to end that ad. And when I put it back up, I was thinking, how much should I put it back up for? And then I realised, well, the price it was originally, not originally back up, but the middle price, so 375 And the bloke was happy to pay that. So, yeah, there was a moment that I thought I should have put it back to 500 because he would have been happy to pay that as well. Um, so, yeah, so now I have money. Because that was a real blessing, because obviously... Yeah, if the car would have gone for 100 or 200 that would have been, I'd have to have waited for at least another week before I could bid on the auction site that I got the Civic from three years ago. 
yeah, there's an auction site I've got the car from. But I would have to renew my membership, and that was going to cost 80 something pounds to renew the membership, and that's before I even start bidding for a car. So I had to get as much as I could for the Civic to have enough money now to start bidding, which now I do. Yeah. Problem is that there's a car there that if I could, oh my god, I would. <laughs> If I could get it, I would get it. The best car so far that I've driven was Mercedes-Benz E220. It was a 2002 version. On the auction site, there is a 2009 version of the same car. With, I think, 127,000 thousand miles on the clock, which is not bad for a 2009 car. It's an automatic, but I tell you, as a car to drive compared to the Civic oh it was a pleasure to drive that car absolute pleasure it was a joy it was even the sound system the sound system was so much better you put a CD on in that car oh it was gorgeous and when you close the door the thump yeah it was a much deeper thump and a proper thump when you close the door and it's like oh <laughs> now you know you're in a car that was made very very well and the whole design of it was lovely it was just a lovely car with a really really big boot the problem is it's my my budget is at max max it's about 1200 and at the moment on that site that car is already at £1,000. The problem is I would have to get it put on. Um, I would have to get it driven or transported from where it is to here. And that's going to cost you know, 100 and something pounds. So therefore, yeah, unfortunately, I'd, I'd love to have it. I would love to be able to buy that. But yeah, yeah. There you go. But hopefully within the week, I will have another car, which will be a real blessing. But basically, the point of it is, is that when you go to God, so even when you go to God and you're having a go at him, if you're trying to deal with it, if you're trying to find things you can sell to raise money, that's you doing it according to the world when you go to god even if you're going to god to have a go at him you're going to god you're looking to him to be the provider you're looking to him to solve the problem and within a very very short time the problem of the civic was solved because i went to him had i not gone to my heavenly father about the issue even if it's only to have a go at him which yeah when you're frustrated, yeah, go to him. Because at least you're going to him. <laughs> That's the point. We're supposed to go to him. So at least when you're frustrated, if you're going to him, he don't mind. Because at least you're going to him. At least you're looking to him. And that's what we should be doing. Because we're, we're, still, we're still caught in doing things according to the world. Because, as I say, the problem is, when you're waiting, 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 we are used to this system where everything's fast. And everyone around you is saying, why don't you just sell some stuff, trying to raise some money? So you know that that's basically what people are going to say, so therefore you do that. But that's not according to God, that's according to the world. So therefore, according to God, is you look to him. Yeah. And that's the thing. Looking to him means that he says, okay, I'll solve it. Yeah. Finally, you've come to me, and so, <laughs> so I'll tell you what to do. But, um, yeah, finally, yeah. In our own stupidity, we make things worse for ourselves. That's the reality. And that's the reality we continually be in, yeah. We go to Father and it gets sorted, but uh, yeah, it's in his timing, not ours. So enjoy. Bye bye.